Kwaku Adeboli flanked by his lawyers. He's charged with fraud and false accounting for allegedly losing his bank, UBS, a cool $2.3 billion in so-called unauthorized trades. It nearly broke the bank. He denies all the charges. On Friday, the prosecution accused him of acting like a naked gambler. It said the motive was to increase his bonus, his status in the bank, his job prospects and his ego. Like most gamblers, he believed he had the magic touch. At one level, this is a trial about the misdeeds of a single rogue trader and how he was able to make such a mess of things for so long. In the public's perception at least, the behaviour of banks like UBS is at the heart of the ongoing economic crisis. While many struggle, they can't fathom the numbers bankers make and sometimes lose. Brace yourselves, but don't push. The prosecution said the money Mr Adeboli lost would have paid the salaries of 60,000 nurses or built six hospitals. That will connect. The scandal cost UBS 10% of its share price. UBS had a management clear-out as a result. The bank is still under investigation for its apparent lack of oversight. The current bosses are bracing for yet more bad publicity from this trial. Sylvia Lennon, Al Jazeera.